my name is Becky and I'm here to show you how to make a memory jar. So what is a memory jar? A memory jar is a place where you can hold your memories that you have throughout the year. Um, traditionally these are done at the beginning of the year, uh, but you can do them anytime. And since we're kind of in an interesting time period right now in our lives, you could also use your memory jar as a time capsule of sorts and just keep that around for maybe even 10 or 20 years and then kind of open it up. So um, today we're going to be decorating our memory jar and I'll just show you how to use it. Um, so you're just going to put whatever kind of fun memories you have of this year just in your jar. Uh, as an example, um, my dog celebrated his 10th birthday this year and so we made him a waffle um, dinner and he enjoyed that so I would just put that in my jar. Uh, another thing that we did was we had a fire this winter and that was on a work night and it was just kind of special and we watched a movie and it was really nice. So that was a happy memory. So I would put something like that in my jar. Um, and throughout your year you would just put your memories in the jar and then at the end of the year you can open your jar and just kind of look back on the memories that you've created. Uh, if you have children at home you can make it a little bit more um, child friendly. You can have them pick out the shapes and Otherwise, you can do ones that's like a little bit better, you know, for your decor. It just depends on what you want to do. The materials that I'm using today are some scissors. I'm using Mod Podge. You can also use tape if you want to do that, um, and that will work just fine. Just tape your stuff right at the back. But I will go ahead and start with the, the Mod Podge and cutting out with the paper that I have. You can use any paper that you have on hand, and then um, just lay it out and put it on your jar. is how you make a memory jar. So again, you can just contribute your memories throughout the year right into the jar. And then if you do one for your family, you might want to ask kids um, what they want to be when they grow up, what their favorite food is right now, all kinds of fun stuff um, with their shoe sizes, how tall they are. And then you can use that, you know, like we said at the beginning of the video, as a time capsule of sorts. Um, and since this is an interesting year, like we talked about, and you might want to do the time capsule, you can ask what their thoughts are, what their feelings are about, you know, having school closed. So this could be a long-term project if you want to make it that. Otherwise, you can just make it something short and sweet and enjoy that for the rest of the year. Thank you for joining us today.